My name is Dmitry Uzdensky. I'm a professor of physics at the University of Colorado Boulder, and I'm a theoretical plasma astrophysicist, which means that I try to study fundamental plasma processes that happen under the conditions uh, that one encounters in extreme astrophysical objects, vicinity of neutron stars and black holes. Plasma can be described as basically a gas consisting of positively and negatively charged particles, electrons and ions, that are flying around freely. They're not tied together in atoms, like in a regular gas. And what makes it especially interesting and especially non-trivial is that these are charged particles. They carry electric currents and, and they interact with each other through electric and magnetic forces. The majority of plasmas I would not call extreme. Traditional plasmas that we have on Earth, the magnetic fusion devices, in the Earth magnetosphere, in the solar wind, the thing we find in our solar system is not extreme, by, by at least by my definition. However, what we find in high energy astrophysics, objects like neutron stars and black holes, so the most extreme, the most enigmatic objects, the uh, energy densities are so high, they are flying with speeds approaching the speed of light, that the charged particles are relativistic. They often radiate a lot, uh, which means that we don't just have electrons and ions, but also photons. Plus, in the more extreme end, the number of particles is not conserved. You also have pair creation and sometimes pair annihilation. So you create antimatter, if you will. You create electron-positron pairs. Finally, at uh, the most extreme limits of this field, one has uh, quantum electrodynamics or quantum effects through very strong magnetic fields that one does not find on Earth. And how plasmas behave under such conditions is especially interesting to me, and that's what I call the realm of extreme plasma astrophysics. One of the most important of the astrophysical plasma processes that we study in our group is called magnetic reconnection. Magnetic reconnection uh, can be thought of as a process of rapid rearrangement of the underlying topology of the magnetic field, where magnetic field lines literally reconnect with each other, change the connectivity. And in this process, a lot of magnetic energy that has been stored suddenly very rapidly gets released and gets converted to the plasma energy in various forms. That includes driving very rapid bulk flows, includes a lot of heating, a lot of non-thermal particle acceleration, and in the most extreme conditions, radiation. We now think that most of flaring, rapidly varying bursts of emission, especially high energy emission, like X-rays and gamma rays, from all kinds of astrophysical objects are powered ultimately by magnetic reconnection. So that's why we want to study how it happens. This overall field that I outlined we call extreme plasma astrophysics or just extreme plasma physics shows a lot of promise it is now ripe for making great rapid advances we have now uh, numerical simulation codes that do include all these exotic processes like radiative processes qd and relativity but also with the advent of very powerful ultra intense lasers we now have the hope of reaching conditions that would allow us to, for the first time really, to produce and then study relativistic plasmas. In order to make any progress in this field, either on the theoretical side or on the experimental side, what one really needs, the most important element, is human resources, which means bright young people to go into this field, get excited about it, and really see the future for themselves as scientists in this field. There are lots of opportunities here. There are lots of questions that urgently need to be resolved.